what keeps things harmonious in this household? This gun in my hand. Once again, the Magnum Radio Network brings you the smash hit program, Information Wants to be Free, but for you it's two bits. Starring those mystery-adjacent information dealers, Roberto and Jennifer Zapata, better known as Wordsmith and the Informatron. Hey, Jenny. Jenny, will you tell the Informatrix I can make my own toast? Your robot butler never gets to how I like it. Correction, my name is Informatron. I am a mobile, bipedal assistant with limited processing capacity. The Informatrix is a stationary computer that takes up most of the basement. Right, right. How could I forget? Here, I made up a rhyme to help me remember which of you is which. My basement pool table had to be nixed to make room for the Informatrix. Good morning, dear. Good morning, Ali Catherine. Roberto, you know full well that Informatron will follow your commands as well as mine. It's too many similar names to remember. We could call the robot Tron for short. I do not think that is a good idea, Miss Catherine. Now, Ali Catherine, please be more careful with your penmanship. My penmanship? Yesterday you left a note on the refrigerator saying that Informatron needs an overhaul. Well, he does. You must remember to capitalize the T in the middle of Informatron. If you write it in all capitals, it could be read as my name, Informatron. Based on your note, Roberto thought he was expected to overhaul the wrong one, and it led to... A heated exchange. <laughs> Jenny, we ought to do something about that computing machine downstairs. I could hardly sleep last night. You need not feel inadequate by comparison with the Informatrix. No human can keep up with its computational speed. You have other capacities that it does not have. I'm not jealous of the stupid thing. It's that hum. Can you turn it down or tune it up? What hum? Can't you hear it? Listen. I don't hear anything. Nor do I. Maybe you two are used to hearing it, so you don't notice. That's where the cotton balls in the medicine cabinet have been disappearing to. I've been stuffing them in my ears to sleep. Let's not argue, Roberto. You know, the thing that's been troubling my sleep is this radio program. The network fellows want us to bicker with each other like the clockhorns. I told them that would be completely out of character for us. I think you're delivering exactly what they asked for. Oh, I wish we could have an easy going back and forth like Dick and Dora. Who's that? Dick and Dora Charlemagne. You know, the high society couple that makes wise cracks and solves crimes. Yeah, sure. They were in that Tin Man case that was written up by Hashiel Dammit. May I be excused, Mrs. Zapata? Certainly, Informatron. Where's he going? To his rejuvenation closet. He spends a lot of time in there. He plugs in so that he can refuel his batteries. It also allows him to directly interface with the Informatrix. We share our experiences and knowledge bases with each other at those moments. That sounds cozy. You are incapable of conceiving the feeling. When will you develop a wireless connection so we can remain permanently connected? Why would a good God put me in a world where my time with her is limited? Was that the doorbell? It didn't sound like it. Who'd be calling this early? Don't look at me, dear. You know I never receive clients at the house. Hello. Falk Zildjian? Falk Zildjian. You don't have to poke your head through the window, Falk. Come in and have some coffee. No, thanks. I wouldn't want to be a moocher. It's okay. After our first few weeks of marriage, I started making one pot of coffee for myself, and the gals make another pot the way they like it. In that case, I'll have one of yours. Can I get some scuttlebutt off you while I'm here? Why would you want to borrow our kitten? What do you mean? We named the kitten Scuttlebutt. I didn't know. I was just hoping to get some info. Sure, I got you covered. What do you know about the burglary at the Green Street building last night? Ah, some low-rent thief broke into the safe. The Green Street crime family isn't the most dangerous in town, but they wounded the burglar on his way out. If he's still alive, he's gone into hiding. Where would he hide? I want to bring him in safe before the mob finds him. He could have useful info to bring down the Green Streets. His mother has a boarding house in Little Albania. Name's Jakupi. Probably find him there. Thanks. I owe you. Coffee was good, too. Take care. Great. We got a window to serve walk-up customers now. Exactly how much does he owe you? Nothing. I mean, maybe some favors. But how can I ever break even with the guy after he did me the favor of bringing you and me together? Aww.
I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't know why you provide information to people for free. For one thing, only some of my work is pro bono, and we never agreed to this in the second. What did we never agree on? Roberto, we had lengthy discussions before exchanging vows, laying out my expectations and yours for our lives together. I can't see it's how- It's the name of a horse. Tell Ali Catherine to get five C-notes out of the secret compartment in my shoeshine brush, go to the track and put it on, we never agreed to this, in the second. That's why you can't complain about me doing pro bono work. One way or another, I keep bringing in the dough. I'm the informatron's assistant, not yours, Wordy. You're not the boss of me. Allie Catherine, would you be a dear and place the bet for Roberto? Sure. All you had to do was ask nice. There's that sound again. Did Falk Ziljan come back for more? No, it's something else. I think it's coming from the basement. The Informatrix never made that sound before. It might be the blower in the furnace. Informatron, please use this cord to interface with the Informatrix so we can speak with it more quickly. You want to watch while we do that? Now, please. By your command. That's horrible! It sounds like it's from the empty end of the basement, away from the computer. Informatrix, if you can hear me, please calculate where that sound is coming from. I assume you do not mean the sounds of your voices. Of the two remaining sounds within the range of human hearing, one is the background hum generated by the normal operation of the Inform Matrix, like so. I told you so! The other sound comes from humanoid creatures that are tunneling towards the wall of the basement. At current rate, they will penetrate the wall within 10 seconds. What should we do? Are the mole men gonna kill us? There's no such thing as mole men. These must be chuffs. Cannibalistic humanoid underground fellas. There's no such thing as chuffs, but there are choofs. Champion health meets of the ululating fungi. Informatron, block those creatures if they try to attack us. Make up your mind. Do you want to continue your voyeurism while I make intimate connections with the only other being on the planet who understands me? Or do you want me to disconnect and block Disconnect, them? yes! Disconnect. disconnect! Fine. They're not advancing anyway. I think the computer wants attention. The display readout from the Informatrix says, uh, oh, it's communicating with the Chufs. They mean us no harm. Are you sure? Also, it requests that I stop calling it it and think of it as a sister. I mean, think of her as a sister. I told you so. Does that mean you're the boy, Informatron? No. I have no preference on the matter because I feel no need to mimic primate behavior. Darling, I was not implying. No. Can we get back to what's important here? This is important. What about that noise? It's unbearable. The ululating fungi have come to join with the Informatrix. Hey now. Not like that. They, uh, they were drawn to her mechanical humming and, uh, they wish to sing together. Wow, neat. Remarkable. This is all very touching, but are we going to have to listen to a humming computer and ululating fungus harmonizing all day and night from now on? I'm not sure, dear. Hey, uh, robot. Informatron. How much do you know about these chuff choof fellas? The Informatrix has known of their existence and shared it with me during our past interfacing sessions. They have an extensive network of tunnels beneath Veravellum City. Perfect. I think we can work out a compromise and I'll finally get a full night's sleep. What do you mean? Ask the Chufs if we can use some space in their tunnels. We move the Informatrix and all her stuff into a space in the tunnel. Close enough so Jenny can use the Informatrix when she needs to, but far enough away so we don't have to hear humming or singing or any of that. That might work. We install a soundproof secret door right here where they broke through the wall. Now if somebody tries to break into the house and steal the Informatrix... God forbid. She's safely hidden away. And she's protected by the Mushroom Ghouls, whatever they call themselves. They get to sing together, maybe we can trade information with them, I get to sleep without cotton balls in my ears, and I get my basement back. Wait! Everyone be quiet! What's that sound? With that sound, I have officially become one of the Chufs. What do you mean? It is time for me to feed Scuttlebutt. That makes me the champion help meet of the ululating feline. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Domestic Harmony, episode 70 of This Gun in My Hand, was composed and arranged by Rob Northrup. This episode and all others are available on YouTube with automatically generated closed captions of dialogue. Visit thisgunninmyhand.blogspot.com for credits, show notes, information on how to subscribe, and to buy my books, such as Little Heist in the Big Woods and Other Revisionist Atrocities. What sound will you harmonize with? This gun in my hand.